With over 2,000 daily flights and 400 aircraft, Ryanair are kind of a big deal. So today I'm going to take them on a short flight between Birmingham and Alicante in Spain. Why not join me and welcome to Blake Edgington Airborne.
Okay, so we're about halfway through the flight now. As always, let's give you a quick tour of the seat on board this Ryanair 737-800. Let's take a look. So the first thing to explain to you today is I booked an extra leg room seat. This is row two, a bulkhead seat, and I've got absolute acres of space here. I'll be showing you a view soon on my return trip on Ryanair in one of their standard seats, so look out for that soon. Now one feature of this seat is you do have a literature pocket. You don't get literature pockets on every seat on Ryanair. This is only for the exit row, mainly to store a safety card. In here I've got a small in-flight magazine and my notebook as well. And if we take a look at the tray table here, it folds out. Now one thing to point out is you do get a cup holder on the tray table, it's half extended. However, it disappears when the tray table is fully extended, which is a bit of an oversight in my opinion. It's not a very large tray table either, and because it extends from the seat, it does impact on the width of the seat somewhat. Okay, so welcome to Alicante. Hope you enjoyed the video so far. And as always, I thought I'd share with you the good and the bad about Ryanair today. So starting off with a pro, first of all, and it's a bit of a strange one, but I really enjoyed the self-service check-in today. Uh, you actually tagged up your own bag, popped it on the belt, really, really easy, and very quick as well at keeping the cues down. Secondly, I would say that uh, the extra legroom seat I had today was very, very comfortable on board. With Ryanair, there are different fare classes you can have. You can actually take the basic fare and then build it up to whatever you want. And I took priority boarding and extra legroom seats today. And it does make a difference on this flight. As you've seen from the video, there's plenty of room in front of me. If there were any negatives, what I would say is that first of all, while the crew weren't bad by any means, it seemed a little bit disjointed the service today it just seemed to be all over the place nothing really flowed very well and speaking of the crew as well when we boarded one member of the crew was chewing gum which i just didn't find very professional at all they weren't bad they just could have been a bit more polished secondly one thing that i just found a little bit niggly about ryanair today was the seat area itself now the seat was very narrow but that's to be expected on row two because on the 737 there's no space in front of you so it, it's got the tray table and the armrest that's fine but when you try and use the tray table 
the cup holder is only available if you have half the tray extended as you've seen from the video if you've got the full tray out which isn't very big no space for your cup which i found very weird also do bear in mind with any ryanair flight there's basically no storage unless it's under the seat in front of you an overhead locker there's no seat back pockets on a ryanair flight as uh, usually but today we did have the small one just for the safety cards on the exit row so bear that in mind it, it can be very difficult to have all the items you want out at the same time Overall though, would I recommend Ryanair? Yes, I would. You have to treat them as they are. They're a low cost airline. They have some fantastic value flights around Europe, but you don't get a lot for your money unless you pay the extras. So just bear that in mind. If you pay the extras, they're as comfortable as anybody. As always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video once again. Please do subscribe, like, and share this video. It does make all the difference to me. And the more comments, subscriptions I get, the better projects I can produce to you. Most of all, take care.